Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's having an amazing day. So today is um, that time of the month where we have the Hot Tips Nail Box here. I absolutely love this box. Um, I've been getting it, I believe, like five months now, I think. This, you know what, I think this is my sixth box. Yeah, I think this is number six, and I absolutely love it. This is the subscription box from Canada. So I'll leave everything um, linked down below. Um, and this month is uh, like summer romance. I guess that's the theme of this month. So let's go ahead and see what we got here. All right, so we get the little card here. And it just says, thank you. Oh. Thank you. And then they do have a YouTube channel. So make sure you go um, subscribe to their YouTube, um, their Instagram. Yeah, they just, they have beautiful acrylics. Uh, so many charms on their website. Just awesome products. I absolutely love their products. So we'll go ahead and see what we got. Ooh, I'm excited because we get an acrylic. Last month there wasn't an acrylic. It was like the ink, the alcohol ink, so I'm excited. All right, so the first things we have here are some little charms. All right, so we get some little, oh, these are super cute, some little unicorn uh, charms. There's one silver, and then there's some gold. Sorry, I was trying to, like, turn them over and stuff. So yeah, we get some little, little unicorn, super cute. And then, ooh, these are super pretty. I don't think I have this color uh, rhinestone. Let me see, let me put it on the little. Ooh, so these are pretty. Yeah, these are like a, they're not brown. I know they kind of look brown here, but they're like a rose gold. A rhinestone super pretty I really really like that color and then oh these are pretty this is like the little chain like the little gold with like the diamond little chain that you can cut off little pieces and add to your you know like around the cuticle or you know of the nail so yeah that's super pretty I like that and we get some little letter stickers here with flames on it those are cute and there's some numbers there really cute oh these are fun i love the stickers they always have unique stickers so we have little um pikachu or pokemon i'm not sure how to say that it says baby bad sad love it's got bart simpson crying just different. Oh, Pink Panther. That's cute. Yeah, these are so... I love the stickers. They're always so unique. So those are cool. There's even Daisy Duck there. So yeah, they're just supposed to be like kind of summer romance or like the romance gone wrong, I guess. And then we get... Oh, these are pretty. Oh, I don't have any colors um, like this. Different kinds of... Um, sequin you know glitters it's like little bunnies right here they're gold they're like a rose well, like a gold and a pink there's butterflies there's flowers these kind of flowers bigger butterflies some hearts oh these are super pretty oh i absolutely love these all right my favorite part now is the acrylic Oh, that's pretty. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is so pretty. It's got rose gold glitters in it, and it's got little hexagons, different colored hexagons. So there's usually a charm in the acrylic. So let's see. Oh my gosh, it's like right there. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, that's cute. 
It's a little frog. Oh, that's super cute. Look at that, how cute. All right, so I'll go ahead and swatch the acrylic. I love it. It's really easy to work with. It's not, it looks, you know, like it's a chunky, chunky, but oh, I like it. It's like a good transition, like summer to fall. Look at that, how pretty. So yeah, this is so pretty. All right, so this is everything that came in the box. I absolutely love it and I cannot wait to do the set. So yeah, like I said, I'll leave everything linked down below. So go ahead and um, check out this box. It's just, I just love it. It's so different from other boxes. Like I said, they always have the unique stickers. Um, you always get rhinestones, some type of charms. The the acrylics are just incredible. This is my fifth uh, fifth acrylic now um, from Hot Tips Nail Box. So yeah, I just absolutely love it. So yeah, so we'll go ahead and get into the set. So we're gonna get started with the peel off base coat here from Enel Couture, and I'm just gonna put a layer of that, and then this one we let it air dry for a few seconds. And then I'm going to be putting my tips on with some base coat just because when I use glue it doesn't stick because of the peel off base coat. So yeah, I'm just going to be applying all the tips with the base coat and we just cure that for about 60 seconds. And then I'm just going to cut the tips down. I just wanted to do shorter, a little bit shorter tips uh, this time. And these tips are from Amazon. So yeah, I'm using the Joss Love Monomer. That's what I just got in the giveaway. I won their giveaway and I have a video of that and that kit is amazing. I'm actually using the pink right now from the um, from the kit and I just love this pink. It's so opaque and it's so pretty. Um, the monomer was a little bit, I mean the acrylic was a little bit runny and I even, you know, I think maybe I used too much or I tried to wipe off as much as I could. And I did have it cooler in here just because of the experience I had last time with it setting too fast. So, yeah, I was a little bit runny, but I was still able to work with it. And as you can see, I just changed brushes. I used the Joss Love one for the pinky, and then um, I'm using this Panna brush that I got from um, Amazon. And Nails by Nelly uses this brush, and it just looked amazing, and it is. The brush is so amazing. So thank you so much, sis, for the recommendation for the acrylic brush. And this is a size 10, and I really liked working with it. It's just, it's a really, really good brush. So yeah, here I'm just trying to create like a smile line. I wasn't trying to do like a deep one or anything. Just like a basic smile line. And then now, sorry, I was so out of frame. I guess I got too comfortable with with you know filing and I forgot where the camera was but I'm just trying to crispen up the smile line and just um, make the nail bed smooth it was some bumpy in some parts so yeah that's all I'm doing is just filing that there and then now we're going to use the glitter from the um, hot tips nail box and this is so pretty. I think this is a perfect color for fall, but also like coming out of summer into fall because it's not like a dark brown. You know, it's kind of a lighter uh, coppery color and I just think it's perfect. Sorry again, I was, you know, kind of out of frame there. When you do acrylic, it's like you gotta hold your, I like to hold my hand kind of close to my face so I just forget where the camera is sometimes, but. This was so nice to work with. I mean, it, oh, I just loved it. It wasn't real lumpy and it was just so, it was just a good experience. And I'm gonna be doing a lot more acrylic. I just love doing acrylic and I just love the way it looks and it's just so fun. And then I was going down and trying to create more of a smile line 
um, I just kind of push the glitters around, you know, where the nail bed of the nail is. I think I show it um, up here. Yeah, I just bring it down on the nail bed or to create like a deeper, a little bit of a deeper smile line. And then I'll take the brush and just move it around there to make it, you know, make it nice and somewhat even. But yeah, I just showed one nail because it was just repetitive. Oh my gosh, I could not get this clear open, the Joss Love one. I think some acrylic from when I swatched them must on there. I could not open it, so I had to use my Core Clear from Young Nails. So I'm gonna fix the thumb because you could see I didn't do much of a uh, apex on that thumb and so the glitter I had to build it up to create a smile line because I don't know the thumb something was going on with the smile line so I had to make the glitter a little bit thicker to get somewhat of a nice smile line so I'm just gonna add some pink here to create more of a nail bed and make it even but what I'm doing is I'm wiping it off the glitter so that it doesn't become cloudy and then I just kind of push the acrylic down just to make it all somewhat even and then we're gonna cover it with clear anyways to make it more even, but I just wanted, didn't want that big gap, you know, gap there. So yeah, now I'm just, I just show one nail with the clear cause it's all the same, you know, we just lay down the clear and to encapsulate the glitter. So when we file, we don't file off the glitters and make it dull. All right, so these are the nails here after the clear has dried. Not too bad. I always love acrylic, just the way it looks. I don't know, something about it, I just love it. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and file um, with the hand file first, just to sharpen up everything, and then I'll go in with the um, e-file. ceramic bit it's actually a light pink and I think it's a fine um, bit or yeah fine bit but um, I like it it makes the nail super smooth but it also takes down bulk and I don't know I just I don't even know where I got it I don't I think it might have came I don't know if it came with the drill maybe this is a Melody Susie I'm not sure I know I don't think I ordered it must have come in a kit all right so this is what the nails are looking like after I filed and buffed so anytime I do acrylics I like to use the not polish I don't know I just think it works really good on the acrylic so yeah so I always end up using the um the not polish gloss it I actually need to get another one because I think I only have oh I have less than half probably about a quarter left and then I'll cure this for 60 seconds. I totally, because I'd put everything away after I unboxed, and I totally forgot I had the glitters. I was going to encapsulate some of the pink, but what I think I'll do is um, still try to put some on with the rhinestone glue and then maybe put more top coat, but oh man, I totally <laughs> forgot. Oh my goodness. So yeah, I'm going to see what I'm going to do and... And then, yeah, I put the rhinestones in here, too, so we're going to use those. Just trying to figure out exactly what I'm going to do. On the pinky, I'm just applying some Born Pretty rhinestone glue, and then I'm just taking the rhinestones that came in the kit, and I'm just going to put two, just, you know, one on top of the other, not super close, but, yeah, just, um, just try to keep it kind of simple.
And then I just cure that for 60 seconds. And then I thought I was recording, but I just put that little heart uh, glitter on with the rhinestone glue and it came out super flat. It was flat on the nail, which is good. Um, so I just went ahead and encapsulated that with the top coat. And then I just added two little rhinestones coming off the heart. And then I'm just deciding what sticker I wanted to use and I just decided to go with the baby and it had flames on it. I don't really, I don't know, I don't think the sticker really went that great, but there wasn't any stickers that were really gold or anything. So I just decided to use it. I wanted to kind of use everything that was in the box and now I'm just using that little chain the gold chain with the diamonds. I'm gonna put that in the middle finger and then I'm gonna put um, one of the little unicorn charms. So I just cut off two little pieces of that chain. And then I'm just gluing it on with the Born Pretty. I just flash cured that real quick and then go in again with the rhinestone glue and then just put that little unicorn. The unicorn was a good size. It was not small, you know, it was like a really, really perfect size for nails. And then on that sticker nail, I'm just going in with three more uh, rhinestones just at the cuticle. So on the thumb, I'm just going to take three of those flower, the gold little flower glitters and just place them in a diagonal line just going across the thumb. And I'm going to take some of the glue and I'm just going to put rhinestones um, just around that half of the nail where those little flowers are. I'm just going to put them going across and then I'll put some going up the nail. And then I'm going back in with the top coat and I'm just going to seal in the flower glitters and then I'll also seal in that sticker on the index finger. Now I'm going in with my cuticle oil. So this is the finished set here and I think they came out really, really pretty. I just love that oh, that color and the acrylics were so nice to work with. But yeah, definitely go out and check out the Hot Tips nail box. I'll leave it, um, everything linked down below. And I just wanna say thank you everyone, all the subscribers and all my nail sisters. You guys are just the greatest. Everyone's so encouraging and I just love this nail community. And thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time, bye.